Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today, I'm just a shave. I'm not doing anything new. There's no new product on this shave. Uh, this is the Clown Fruit by PA. I've had this tub for a couple years. It's the, the holographic label, obviously. Um, kind of an interesting scent. Definitely uh, a one of a kind. I initially got this, or I, I smelled this uh, scent in the Star Jelly. I had a, a sample Star Jelly pack. It was in like a foil, kind of a small wrapper thing. And... Um, I had it from somebody like I bought like a, a mystery box or something and it came with it and I didn't try it for a long time and then I finally did and I was like ooh this is intriguing and I, and I really dug the sun up front is, is, is okay and then the, the dry down is really really nice so that's how like my experience with it was and so I ended up picking up the scent next time they offered it and um, I think they changed the label a few times but this is the one from a couple years ago and then the, the splash the hollow label was a little bit different I actually like this label a little bit better I'm not a big fan of clowns in general but but I dig it anyways. Um, so I got that all lathered up as a CK6, which is a standard PAA uh, soap base nowadays. I lathered it up with a bore brush. This is a vintage Erskine um, handle. I didn't do a whole lot into like restoring it other than cleaning it up. I, I meant to like repaint the letters white and stuff, but I never got around to it. Um, and then I stuck, a, I widened it out and then put a 30 millimeter bore uh, knot in there. I think I got the bore from Turn and Shave. Lather's up great. Um, we've never used PA before. Like the lather's super crazy thick. Uh, pretty easy to lather. I did, like I have way too much lather today. I end up always use too much soap when I use PA. Like it doesn't need a lot of soap when I scoop out. But I always end up with this crazy amount of lather. This brush took a while to break in. I did like a standard cold water, like put it in a mug, you know, not over the the brush itself but you know to the top of the bristles and let it sit there for like three days and then dry it on a towel to like help speed up the process for the tips breaking in and uh splitting and i ended up doing it a little longer than three days i think i like doubled it or something i left it in there for a while it was pretty stiff when i first got it and now it's laid out nice i've got that nice bore scritchiness is kind of the wrong adjective but um got more feel than like a badger does the tips are a little pokey like any any bore or natural hairbrush but when you splay it out when you're feeling like the edges of the hair it's really nice and soft but it's got more feel to it than a badger does i like them i like badger or boars and i think boars make a better lather for whatever reason i don't know if it has to do with water retention into the bristles um or maybe the thickness of the bristles or something but i always seem to have like a better lather result at the end with the a bore than I do with a badger. Not like drastic, I still use my badgers, but. You know, if you like face lathering, I don't think you'd have a problem with face lathering this. It feels great on the face. I've used badgers that are scritchier and not as pleasant on the face than this is. That was really nice. I think the scent, it's a uh, very sweet. Um, the anise scent. That kind of black licorice, kind of root beer candy type scent is uh, pretty prevalent, prevalent uh, in the opening when you're first smelling it out of the tub or putting it on your face. And then in the dry down, like the woody notes really come out and it smells fantastic. It smells good, you know, both times. But for the razor, I'm just using the winning 1.0. Uh, this is the original one. They don't offer this one anymore. It's when they were selling them through the Wet Shaving Club. Uh, before you eat, spot that that company out. Um, so this has got the flat base plate with the holes in there. It's a little bit different than the current design. Um, the head is a little bit bigger. There's no chamfering on the, the front base plate. I've got a new first use uh, Rapira Swedish Super Steel. I don't know if I'm using the Rapiras, I use the Super Stainless in like the pink box. But I had tried one of these Swedish ones in a while and I thought I'd try it. I do prefer the this original winning over the, the new one. It took me a while to narrow or nail down why. Um, it's just a little bit smoother. It's a little bit more comfortable on the face. I think the they put that chamfering on the top cap here if you can see right there you can kind of see that that chamfering I think you can see it 
and I think that allowed for some people had uh, drag issues with the original model winning and the chamfering is meant to alleviate that. Now I've never had issues drag or with drag, um, but I get what people are saying. I, if I had a dry lather and I've done that before, maybe just didn't hydrate it enough. I've had of a dry if I have a drier lather, then yeah, I get a bit of that kind of suction feeling, that kind of drag on your face. But in general, I just prefer the face feel on this one a little bit better. I think that flat metal surface, I think it I don't know, I just I like it. The way the way it works is is fantastic. I think maybe that that increased metal surface and maybe it is, you know, that dragginess from that larger head. I think it like pulls the skin taut and does a little bit of like natural skin stretching as you go. And that's one of the reasons this razor is so efficient, even though it's so mild. There's not a lot of blade feel at all. Most razors that I shave with that have this level of blade feel, which is almost none, usually aren't efficient enough. Usually they're very comfortable, but at the end of the shave, you still have some whiskers left, but that's not the case with the winning three passes, and this thing is like BBS. And it's so smooth. It's just a really comfortable razor to use. I don't have to like, Guess with angles, I don't have to worry about overshaving with it. I mean, you could, but I don't really have those issues with this razor. It's just a, it's just fun to use. And the result is consistent. I always get a great shape with that razor. I don't know that I've used a bad blade in it. I haven't tried to use a bad blade, like a blade that I've already decided I didn't like. I've not tried to run it through the winning just to see if that made it better. Just because I'm willing to do a, a shave for science, but I also don't want to torture myself. Got my bluey shirt on there, if you guys can see that. I can't quite see it. Can you? Bluey. Well, technically it's Bandit. Bluey's dead. Had to represent the kids. Had a meeting at the elementary school, trying to get my four-year-old into kindergarten next year, which is a trial. She, the school starts August 27th, and she will be five prior to then. Her birthday's in August. But the cutoff is August 1st, even though they don't start school until the end of August. So she misses the cutoff by just a little bit, even though she'll be five before school starts. So now I gotta jump through all these hoops. I had to fill out this whole questionnaire talking about her strengths and weaknesses and her aptitudes and whatnot. And then I had a meeting with the principal today. I had to pay 25 bucks. Not for the meeting itself, but they're scheduling a, like a assessment So then you just gotta go take this educational assessment, which I guess is kind of like a kitty IQ test. And then if she scores good enough on that for entry, then she'll have to do another <laughs> more detailed test, which will cost me another 25 bucks. And then if that goes well, then she'll, uh, Be granted access to kindergarten on a probationary period. <laughs> to do like a 60 day or 90 day probationary period just to make sure that she's, I don't know, acclimating well and emotionally ready for kindergarten and all that. She's dying to go to school. She's definitely, I think, smart enough. She likes reading. She's not reading yet to be clear, but she likes being read too. 
she reads books, but she just, you know, makes up words based on the stories. Good on her ABCs, working on numbers. Hopefully we get her in. I look at like private schools. You get her in like a preschool kind of a thing. Holy crap. So expensive. At least the ones around here, if I wanted to put her in like a full time, five day a week preschool, it was like 11, 12 grand a year. That's, that's hefty, that's pricey. Maybe if this all doesn't work out, I'll look at like a, I'll stay here or there. Like a part-time preschool and she'll go a couple days a week. More affordable, but she's still getting the benefit out of it. We'll see, hopefully she gets in kindergarten. I got high hopes. Principal is really nice. My kindergartner goes to school there. So I think it should work out. But that was my morning and I wore my bluey shirt to drop my kids off to school. My, uh, my youngest, when she had her fourth birthday, she wanted a, my wife is really big in the themes. So the birthday theme was bluey. So everyone had a bluey shirt. I had the dad, bandit, and then my wife had the mom and the kids all had their bluey characters and my youngest, because she's the youngest, had uh, Bingo, she's the, the youngest old girl in that show. I forgot which direction I was going in. I do that all the time, I get talking. Forget what I'm doing. But even with like, I'd already shaved that slide of my cheek, and there wasn't any like lather left over, PA was still slick enough. And like, it doesn't, drag or feel rough at all even though I don't have any shaving cream like I don't feel like I'm gonna get any irritation from doing that very comfortable this razor is fantastic I did think about asking Jake you know, they have like the buy your own razor and you can do like personalization stuff and laser etching and all that whatnot I did think about trying to email him and asking if I could get because I have the winning 2.0 obviously because I show it to you guys um, but I did think about asking if I could buy another one or just a top cap, but not have the chamfering on that, that leading edge to see if he would do that as like a custom order like he does with the, the 921. I probably will. It's worth an email. Um, the only reason I haven't done it yet is because I know he's been really busy. He did the whole titanium winning pre-order and then he got sick. I don't really think he had COVID or... Something else, I don't know. He was out for a while because he's sick and that threw him behind and so he had some problems trying to clear the backlog and a lot of 921 build your own razor orders and stuff. So I know he's posted a few times about apologizing to people for the delays on their orders and trying to get everything caught up. So probably not the best time to try to ask for a favor <laughs> or a custom order. But I just like the smooth face a lot better than I like the champ edge. The winning 2.0, uh, don't, don't think I don't like it. It is good a razor. And I think for everyone that tried the winning 1.0 and had issues with drag or had issues with maybe blade feel, I think the, the changes that he made on the winning 2.0 all were deliberate to meet the needs that people had for that, for that razor. So the chamfering and stuff and the, the changed lather holes on the bottom, the profile's a little bit slimmed on the head. Um, those are all conscious based off the feedback from the winning 1.0 for those people that didn't like the drag or they thought the head was too big or whatever. So probably for most people, the winning 2.0's got everything they need. I do really like the handle that he made for the winning one, uh, 2.0, which I, I use on this one now. The original handle, oh, I do have it out. This guy right here, I'm, I think almost dropped it just now. It's so slick. It's super slippery. The, the grooving, these little grooves right here are just not enough to keep it secure. It just wants to slide right out of your hand. 
you know, like a brush hair on my finger. There's a magnet on the bottom. They both have magnets on the bottom if you wanted to pick up a blade, but it was so slippery, it just made it not, not great to use. So I've always used my winning with a different handle. But the new one is fantastic. This thing is very sturdy. He's got like these raised lines instead of the recess lines, which makes it a lot grippier. That's it. That's just about, that's my touch up there. There's, I don't know that I can think of another razor that I can do like a quick little pick up touch up like that without like re-wetting my face or adding more lather. This razor is just super friendly, but super efficient. Well, not super efficient, but the perfect level of efficiency for me. My cheeks are super smooth, my neck is super smooth. That one almost fired there. Now these kind of touch-ups, I have to do with any razor, no matter how much blade feel or blade forward it is. I always gotta like, my hair is going in weird directions on my neck, so I always gotta kind of find a weird way to get in there if I want like the perfect shave. In this razor, I don't mind chasing a little bit because like I said, it's still friendly. That was my pickup pass. As Paul H. always says, pickup time, baby. Well, it's over now. Perfect BBS shave. I got nothing to complain about that shave. I don't think I got any irritation at all. No weepers. Nothing. Perfect shave. I'm going to do a quick cold water rinse. Be right back with Splash and my final thoughts. All right, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Just to elaborate on that cold water splash I say I do, it's kind of part of my routine. Uh, I usually rinse off with warm water first, get all the soap off my face, and in particular out of the hair on my chin there, hence I hold lather like a brush. Uh, and then once I got all the soap off, my face was nice and warm, then I switched to the coolest water I have, and I splash that all over, and it's usually a bit of a shock, but that going from a warm face to a really cold uh, splash, it kind of shrinks the pores and everything and, and helps reduce irritation and redness, and I found that works really well for me. I don't like, I have a little bump right here. Not irritation though, just, uh, it was a great shave. I didn't have any issues with that. I imagine I'll still probably get a little burn using the PA Splash, they're very alcohol heavy. Uh, this one in particular for ingredients is slightly, they all have a little bit different as far as like adding stuff to for the scent. Uh, it's alcohol elder, elderflower hydrosol, uh, which is for fragrance. Uh, obviously the standard fragrance for the scent. It's glycerin, aloe, liquid silk, tobacco absolute, which is more for the fragrance and then steeped wormwood and Hungarian oak. That's also for the, the scent profile. That kind of wormwood, that kind of anise scent, um, kind of like Jägermeister. If you ever drink Jägermeister, it kind of reminds me a little bit sweeter than Jägermeister. Just at the beginning though. I'm not a huge Jäger fan. I used to drink that a lot when I was younger. I don't, I can't, I don't like to smell it anymore. So just a, a bit of a familiarity with the scent. But that I sent the anise, I'm not a huge fan of anise in general. Usually it'll keep me away from it. I don't like licorice. I don't like, I hate black licorice. And that was why I didn't really care to try this when I first got that sample of the star jelly. Cause I was like, eh, I don't like that scent. I don't like black licorice or root beer candy. Cause it has that scent in there as well. I'm like, eh, I just don't like that sound, that smell. But one day I tried it just mostly cause I was curious about the star jelly. I think that was the, the reason I tried it. And then the scent, I was like, ah. And like five minutes later, that kind of initial scent of that anise really dies down and the rest of the scent really comes forward. And you get this really nice woody scent. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. Very woody, complex. It smells really nice. I really dig it. Splash is good. I didn't really get any burning. Just a little bit. I think it's more from the fragrance. And it goes away from me pretty quick. Um, but yeah. No burning. It was good. It was a great shave. I really like that shave. The winning is a fantastic razor. Uh, I'll probably send out that email to Jake just to kind of gauge the possibility of getting that 2.0 with the flat face instead of the chamfered edge and uh, see what he says. I imagine if he says yes, the timeline will be pretty lengthy, uh, but I might just send out an email to uh, to see about the possibility. I'll let you guys know what comes of that. 
Um, I don't know if it'll be something that he offers as like, you know, mix and match base plates and top caps and stuff like that. They all mix together. I've tried the winning 1.0 and 2.0 and all the parts kind of match. But uh, yeah, I'm going to check it out. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Just a shave. No, no reviews again today. Um, I'm glad you guys tuned in and stick out this long. And if you guys want any uh, reviews on anything, a soap, a brand, a blade, a razor, if I got it, I'll try to accommodate you to the best of my abilities. And uh, I'll get back to you. See you next time.